Hello. This video will give you an overview of the migration from Footprints 11 to Footprints 12. Migrating from Footprints 9 to Footprints 10 and Footprints 10 to Footprints 11 is different than the migration to Footprints 12. The migration to Footprints 12 will require more time and more planning on your part to make sure that you are successful. During this video, we will cover tools that we have created for you to help We'll show some examples and we'll show you the order of the steps that you should take to successfully migrate to Footprints 12. Your migration to Footprints 12 should start with the test environment. This step is extremely important. After you have followed the migration steps in a test environment, you will repeat the migration steps in a production system. Migration in the test environment consists of four main steps. First, you will navigate to bmc.com and find your support page. There you will find information including articles, videos, and tools that you can download to help with your migration. Second, you will run the Upgrade Advisor tool in your Footprints 11 system. This tool will create a report that will show you potential issues you may run into during the migration, as well as provide you with a plan for migration with specific steps to follow. Some of the specific steps to follow will point you to things you can do on your Perl Footprints instance before you migrate to improve the migration experience. We recommend you rerun the Upgrade Advisor after you've performed these steps to get an updated plan for migration. The third high-level step is to create a backup set of your Footprints Service Core 11 instance. Once you create your backup set, the next step is to import that backup set into Footprints Service Core 12. You will want to take time to review your configuration to make sure it is accurate and to check your data and then complete your migration plan. You may also want to use that environment for training for the new look and feel of Footprints 12. Now that you have tested the migration and you have a complete migration plan, the next step is to run the migration in the production environment. This will be a little bit different than running it in your test environment. Migration in a production environment consists of three main steps. We don't have to run the upgrade advisor anymore since at this point your migration plan will be completed and tested. So the first step is to recreate your backup set. The next step is to import the backup set into your Footprints Service Core 12 production instance. And for the third step, you will complete any final steps listed on the Upgrade Advisor report. Before getting started, there are a couple of important notes. Running the Upgrade Advisor on your production Footprints 11 will not affect your production data. However, it does perform analysis and reporting, so you should consider running it on non-core working hours. Running the Migration Export tool on your Production Footprints 11 will not affect your production data. If anything goes wrong with migration, you will always be able to revert back to your Footprints 11 instance, making this step 100% risk-free. Before we go through the migration, let's take a look at the Footprints 11 instance that we're going to migrate to Footprints 12. This instance has several workspaces. By default, all workspaces will be migrated. We're going to go now to the Customer Support workspace. We'll look at this workspace in more detail to make sure we can see it after we have migrated into Footprints 12. We're going to look at the form. This Resolution Information tab has three controls. Patch Available, Create KB Article, and Root Cause. Now we'll take a look at the Issue Lifecycle for reporting. In the Issue Lifecycle, we see the Preactive, Active, and Resolve to Close buckets. Some active and not responded, some active and responded, counts for time and does not count for time. Now let's take a look at roles. 
We have agent, workspace administrators, system administrators, customers, and many roles that will be migrated to Footprint Service Core 12. We also see role members, which are some of the agents here, that will also get migrated to version 12. Now we'll take a look at escalations that were configured in this customer support workspace. We have several escalations, one of them being the development required escalation. All of these rules will be migrated, but we'll take a closer look at this specific example in version 12. Note that this escalation is triggered when the ticket is created or edited. This is the criteria for the escalation. The keyword equals task, status equals development required, and actions to send email notifications. Again, we'll look at this escalation in version 12 as well to verify the configuration is exactly the same. Now that we've seen an overview of the Footprints 11 system, let's do the first step in the migration, which is going to your customer profile site to download the upgrade advisor. When you go to your customer profile site, go to My Profile, and log in as you normally would. Click on the Footprints Service Core tab at the top and at the bottom of the page you will find the links to the tools that you need to start the migration to Service Core 12. The next step is to run the Upgrade Advisor. The Upgrade Advisor will give us the customized report for the migration of this specific Footprints instance. Note that the Upgrade Advisor can be run at any time in advance of the actual migration to a test environment or production to assist you in upgrade and migration planning. This will be the last time that we have to refer to this diagram because from this point forward we'll be able to use the report produced by the Upgrade Advisor to manage the migration process. After you download the Upgrade Advisor, you run it on your Footprints 11 instance. You can run the Upgrade Advisor while your system is in production, but we recommend you do so at non-peak hours. The Upgrade Advisor does not affect your current Footprints instance. You select a location where your current Footprints is running using the Upgrade Advisor. Next, a dialog box tells you how long the process will take. Then the Upgrade Advisor finishes and produces a report. When you click on the Upgrade Advisor report link, it opens the report that we will analyze next. This is the Upgrade Advisor report. It has three main parts, the migration plan, report details, and issues. At the top of the report you'll find the migration plan. The migration plan shows the flowchart for the entire migration process and you can click on the links inside each box to navigate to a different part of this report. The report details show the estimated time and the estimated size for the migration process. And at the bottom, the issues show everything that you must address in order to have a successful migration. The final part of your report is the actual migration plan, which tells you how to mitigate the issues that pertain to your Footprints 11 instance. So in this report, you would review the issues that apply to your Footprints 11 instance. Each issue has very detailed information about what was detected on your system. It will take you directly to the place in the migration plan where we recommend the mitigation that applies to the issue. That is, for all of the issues that apply for you. And there are some issues that apply to all of our customers, and those also include mitigations. There are some configuration settings that have not been 
migrated by the tool yet and there is some functionality that was in Footprints 11 that has not yet been implemented in Footprints 12. Then you follow the plan. It tells you what you need to do before you migrate your Footprints 11 instance. The next step is to create the backup from your Footprints 11 server. Almost all of the steps you have taken to migrate from Footprints 11 to Footprints 12 have a Solutions article link where you can find more information. In this example, you click the Solutions article link and it will take you to an article on our website. This will give you information on how to download the tool that will allow you to back up your Footprints 11 instance. Now we're running the Migration Export tool that you'll run on your Footprints 11 instance. Be sure to run this tool during off hours. The tool asks you for the location where Footprints 11 is installed. It warns you that you have to stop using Footprints 11 at this point and that it is going to take some time. The first part of the Migration Export tool is to create the Upgrade Advisor report again so you can review it one more time before you export. Choose the location where you want to store the backup data. Choose whether you want to backup your configuration and data or just your configuration. And finally you'll be shown how much disk space and the amount of time it will take to complete the backup. And when the backup is complete, you'll see a summary screen that shows the location of the backup data and links to articles to help you with your migration. We finished the backup set the next step is to restore. This article will tell you how to run the restore tool. This is the restore tool that will allow you to import your Footprints 11 backup data into Footprints 12. Enter your administrator credentials. Find the location of the backup data that you will be importing into Footprints 12. Details about the import, along with how long it takes, are provided. The import runs. When it is complete, your data is in Footprints 12. Now I can log into Footprints 12. By default, when I log in as an administrator in Footprints 12, I will see all of the workspaces. Notice the gaps in the grid. This is because I'm showing the description, and the descriptions in these rows have multiple lines, but the formatting from Footprints 11 was preserved appropriately in Footprints 12. Here are the tickets for the Service Desk workspace. In Footprints 12 we have the same concept of workspace as in Footprints 11. However, in Footprints 12 you can define multiple items whereas in Footprints 11 a workspace could only have one item. For the migrated Service Desk workspace there is only one item which is the ticket item. The next workspace that we saw in 11 was the Customer Support workspace. I also have all the tickets from that workspace with the descriptions as well.
Now I'll go to Administration to manage my workspaces. All of the workspaces that we saw in Footprints 11 have been migrated. I can see those workspaces in Expanded View or in Grid View. I will go to the Expanded View and open the Customer Support workspace. This workspace has only one item, but I could add more items and create more than one ticket. And in the ticket, I can have multiple forms. I'll open the Agent Web Form, which is the one we looked at for Footprints 11. Inside this, I will open the Resolution Information tab. Inside this tab, I have the same fields we had in version 11. Next is the Issue Life Cycle. I'll go back to the ticket and select Life Cycle. Notice that the Life Cycle has been migrated and the values that were in Footprints 11 are now also in Footprints 12. I have the statuses that are active and not responded and the statuses that are active and responded. I also have the statuses that count for time versus the ones that don't count for time. Then the next thing we did in 11 was looking at the roles. This shows all the roles for all the different workspaces. This is at the system level. I'll filter the list to show the customer support workspace roles. This Footprints 12 list of roles matches the same list of roles that we had in Footprints 12. Now let's look at the users. This is showing me all of the system users, but I can filter it to look at only the users in my customer support workspace. Now we'll look at rules that were in the Footprints 11 Customer Support Workspace. We'll go to the item, navigate to the rules. The rules can be seen in Grid View or Expanded View. Notice there are more rules here in version 12 than in 11. That's because several configuration options from version 11 are changed to business rules in version 12. And look at the Development Required rule from version 11. Notice the rule has the same triggers that happen when a ticket is created or updated and if the criteria matches the status, development required or if the keyword is a task. The actions for the rule were to send notifications and we can see all of the notifications here. Footprints 11 backup has been restored into Footprints 12 and you verified the results. The next steps are things to do after migration. Remember that the Upgrade Advisor alerted you that there would be migration issues that would require attention after the restore of data into Footprints 12. Migration is not complete until these issues are resolved. Please be sure to spend time verifying the accuracy of the configuration and data in a test environment before performing a complete migration to a production environment. After you're done, you're ready to send your Footprints 12 system into production.